Most of the attack was carried out from above the streets of downtown Dallas from the second floor of El Centro College. And we're learning new details about the track Micah Johnson took as he moved through the building to both take cover and continue his mission to kill police. Fox Force Allison Harris watched the college today and brings us the story. Allison. Stephen Heather, FBI investigators have been combing through the college since the shooting, and today we got to see the scene. And even from the streets, you can see the boarded up windows where the shooter, Micah Johnson, pointed his rifle at police. This is where it ended. A robot with a pound of C4 attached to it rolled down this hallway to Micah Johnson. The explosion took out the shooter and walls, but where drywall still stands, bullet holes remain. Hundreds of bullets were fired in the ambush, starting just before 9 o'clock the night of July 7th at Lamar and Maine. Johnson spoke with two Dallas police officers before opening fire on them. Dart officer Brent Thompson fired back and was shot in return. Johnson ran with his rifle to the Lamar Street entrance at El Centro College, trying to escape the barrage of gunfire from police. At the same time, two El Centro officers inside the college ran to the Lamar entrance doors to investigate the chaos. Right then, Johnson shot through the glass. These are the first set of doors that he opened up on, and this is the doorway where my two officers were injured. A bullet grazed one of the El Centro officers. Glass burst and lodged in the other officer's body. Johnson could not get in and changed direction, heading for this Elm Street entrance to the college, shooting along the way. This is where the gunman shot out the windows to make entry into the facility. Once inside, he left a blood trail from the doors to a stairwell. An El Centro officer saw the blood, entered the stairwell, was shot at, then retreated. You can see where the FBI took a piece of the wall, likely where the cryptic letters RB were painted in blood. Johnson went to the second floor library, which looks undisturbed, but beyond the books are two shot out windows where Johnson used his sharp shooter training to fire round after round at officers below. He knew we were coming after him, Dallas PD was coming after him. He knew not to stay in one place for too long. Then he ran to this narrow enclosed hallway, reached the door on the other end, opened it, and saw SWAT. He got in a gunfight with SWAT officers, then barricaded himself in the hallway for hours. Police say he taunted them and told them he wanted to kill white officers. All the while, 60 people were on lockdown inside the college on the 7th and 8th floors, many of them there for night class. Officers got those people out of the building before wheeling in the robot and detonating the device. I thought it was a good job. I saw it. I thought it was a very ingenious and it was a smart way to end uh, what could have been a very a lot worse. The FBI is reviewing surveillance video from the building here, but police do not believe that Johnson cased this building. They do think he might have had some familiarity with it. Today, we learned that he had taken a semester of classes at Richland College, which is part of the Dallas County Community College District, like El Centro. So he might have studied at this building at some time, but police aren't sure. All right, so Allison, then what are the plans for El Centro then moving forward? Well, we heard from the president of the college today who says he is devastated for the victims and their families, but he does not want this to define El Centro. They will open this building up again on Thursday. They have plans for several tributes to the fallen officers and the injured police officers, and they are offering counseling for students and staff. All right, two weeks after that ambush. Allison, thank you.